Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about Bollinger Bands and how traders trade the Bollinger Band or one of the popular ways that traders trade the, uh, the Bollinger Band indicator. Now, the Bollinger Band indicator was created by John Bollinger and is used to measure market volatility. It was used to measure market volatility. So um, market volatility refers to the amount of activity within the market. So a low volatility market will uh, refer to um, basically low activity and a high volatility market will refer to um, a lot of activity. So a high, an example of a high volatility market is during um, some sort of news or economic um, uh, event. So where traders are getting into the market and you know there's a lot of activity going on, buying and selling based on the news. So the Bollinger Band is really centered, uh, well the indicator is centered around the moving average, the 20 period moving average, which is the red or burgundy line that you can see. And it has two bands, an upper band and a lower band. And the idea behind it is that price uh, volatility won't really, well say won't really, but it um, won't stay outside of the bands for too long before reverting back to the moving average. So you can see here that prices don't really stay outside of the bands for too long. So they will kind of hug the band, they will hug the band, but they won't, you know, really deviate too far away from the actual uh, band. As you can see, prices stay. When they do come outside, the candle wick comes back in, outside comes back in, outside comes back in. So um, you will have uh, periods where prices may come out, but they won't stay out for too long. Now, traders will trade the Bollinger Band um, in the main way that traders will trade the Bollinger Band is via the Bollinger Band bounce. So traders will attempt to um, capitalize and buy when prices come into the lower band and sell as prices come into the upper band. Now, um, like all indicators, it depends on the market state. So there are some indicators that are really good for trending markets and there are some indicators that are um, used um, and really well for ranging markets. So the Bollinger Band indicator uh, is, is mainly used for ranging markets. Um, there, is a, there is a trending market strategy um, for Bollinger Bands but the main way that traders will use this is just to trade the upper and the lower side bounces. So let's say for example we have an upper bounce here. All right? Now this level may be used as a level of uh, supply or resistance. So we know that we've got a level here. Now when prices do come up to this level here at the top we can see that we are already at a level where we are getting some sort of rejection. Before that we had some rejections but there was really no clear level of support and resistance in conjunction with the Bollinger Band and as we can see now when prices did come up to here we were touching the uh, upper band and we were near the upper band. We also got some price action, some uh, negative price action bearish and then prices traded down to the mean. We can also see again right here where we have a level of demand or what traders may call support and we can see that prices when they came back down in we can see that prices actually came out of the band and then put in some bullish price action with this engulfing uh, candle here um, again supported by the fact that 
it was a Bollinger Band uh, bounce. And again, we have, if you extend it across, we have another bounce here, back up to the mean, bounces back up to the means. So we can see a level here where you have prices come back up. You've got a level of resistance. And again, it's to do with the combination of Bollinger Bands and levels of support and resistance. So we had this level here, prices rejected. When prices came back down in, prices um, traders would look to um, you know, uh, buy at this area here because you can see that with the Bollinger Band, we have some confirmation and confirming um, price action as well. This is quite a bullish price action. And again, we have a level of resistance. When prices came back up into this level here, we can see prices didn't stay outside for too long before moving down. So Bollinger Band bounces, again, are really just um, uh, traders will trade them um, once prices come outside or touch or are near the upper or lower bands together with areas of support and resistance um, as buying and selling um, opportunities. Now in this example on the US dollar Swiss franc pair, we can see um, several bounces and opportunities for traders to really enter the market. Now, um, you have an example here. And prices have been coming down and then prices basically get rejected. Now, we don't know whether this is going to be a level of support, um, but aggressive traders will try to enter um, on the first touch. And as you can see, when prices did come back down into this level, it didn't stay outside of the Bollinger Band for too long. And in fact, we put in quite a bullish uh, price action candlestick. So um, one way traders will get in is they will either get in on a pending order once prices come back into the band so that they can minimize their um, their risk. So they won't, when prices go outside of the band, and prices come back in, they will then put their stop loss below the low and potentially get into the upside. Or what traders will do is they will wait for price to confirm. So that's the bullish price action, stop below the low. And then you have your prices. Targets as far as profit targets, some traders may want to take um, targets at the at the mean, and some traders will want to extend their targets. But Bollinger Bands really should be traded with um, confluence in mind because it's um, again it really does depend on the state of the market, whether the market is trending or ranging. Um, if you don't know what trending or ranging markets. Are, um, we have a video in the uh, tutorial section on identifying trends. Um, so let's look at some more examples here. So we can see actually nah, that wasn't one here. We had one a sell again to the upside. So we had prices basically rejected from here. And then prices, as they made their way up into this Bollinger Band here, prices came outside, prices came back in. As prices come back in and close inside, candlestick close, traders would have either have got in like that, or they may have waited for confirming price action it's quite a negative candle there and then look to either take profit at the other side of the band if the risk reward um, obviously meets the criteria and um, yeah so 
we have another example there we have an example here where prices came out came back in once they did close inside the bands to the upside and it was at a level of support now confirm support because we had one two three now four touches and again prices come up so you can start to see where Bollinger Bands um, can be very very useful um, when it comes to predicting reversals in the market as price doesn't necessarily want to stay outside of the bands for very long you can see on this candle wick here to the right you can see prices came out but by the end of the day they were right back in prices don't stay out for very long so i hope that helps with trading bollinger bands if you have any questions please email me at info at trading180.com